Mr Speaker, I also confirmed last night that if the House declined to approve leaving without a deal on the 29th of March 2019, the Government would bring forward a motion on whether the House supports seeking to agree an extension to Article 50 with the EU, which is the logical consequence of the votes over the past two days in this House. The Leader of the House will shortly make an emergency business statement confirming the change to tomorrow's business. The motion we will table will set out the fundamental choice facing this House. If the House finds a way in the coming days to support a deal, it would allow the Government to seek a short, limited technical extension to Article 50 to provide time to pass the necessary legislation and ratify the agreement we have reached with the EU. But let me be clear, such a short technical extension is only likely to be on offer if we have a deal in place. Therefore, the House has to understand and accept that if it is not willing to support a deal in the coming days, and as it is not willing to support leaving without a deal on the 29th of March, then it is suggesting that there will need to be a much longer extension to Article 50. Such an extension would undoubtedly require the United Kingdom to hold European Parliament elections in May 2019. I, I, I do not think that would be the right outcome. But the House, the House needs to face up to the consequences of the decisions it has taken.